Hey, Internet! I'm Colorful Artie. Welcome back to... Oracle of Ages Cursed, also known as the Wayne Dungeon, this episode. If there's one thing I learned from last episode, it's don't use the map and don't use the shovel on these guys. Anyways, we can go through this part of the dungeon now. And hey, you remember the snakes? They get faster as they get in your line of sight. And they charge towards you. Plus, they're just so darn cute. Oh, what's this? A cracked wall? Whatever could be behind here. Oh, wow. Enemies. I like how the red bots are still so nice, in the, even in a cursed playthrough. Oh yeah, and it's one of the many side-scroller parts of the Oracle games. Not what I wanted to happen. So yeah, Fwomps are in this. Newsflash. They're just so happy, it's so awesome. And we get a key! Hooray! And that's the only thing here. As you can see, that room was segregated. And man, the Wayne Dungeon music is just so repetitive! Wow, the keys were being nice with the heart drops. Past tense, of course. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Compass? Compass! Sweet. Not that we're even gonna use it. I know this game pretty well, and I'm gonna regret saying that, I'm sure. Oh boy, minecarts are back! Get on the minecart, it takes you to the end of the track. And oftentimes you can change the direction the track goes by hitting switches. Doom, 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 spin around! Also, they just look awesome. Mini boss already? Oh, not this guy! One with no wings is no match for me! Yeah, this guy's annoying. I don't even know its official name. Basically, wait for it to fall and then spin attack it. Also, you'll notice that pit is not pitch black. That means if I do hit that, I'm actually going to fall down into a lower room. I'll have to climb back up and fight him again if that happens. Also, eventually he'll start stomping more than once. I'm surprised he hasn't started stopping more than once yet. Wow. He has a lot of HP. There we go. Oh, but I got two hits on him. Darn it. So now he's getting tough. That was only two! Don't be unpredictable. What the heck?! Sometimes he does two, sometimes he does three! That's not fair! What the heck? I am outraged, Sakrabu! What on earth? Wind Dungeon, what the heck? Ah, uh, great. I don't know why I thought this would be an easy Let's Play. In fact, this actually... Not sure if this will be harder than Oracle of Seasons Cursed. The boss fights in this are just different. 
Normally in Oracle of Ages, if you've got enough HP, then, I mean, well, the boss fights tend to be kind of a joke, but if you only have four HP, four hearts, and you take double damage, yeah, it's actually gonna be hard. Oh, no, and I only have two hearts this time. Oh, I know what I'm gonna try instead. Not that. Bomb damage is still the same. Yeah. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, this guy is really, really annoying. Okay, you can kind of tell how many times he's gonna stomp based on how far each stomp takes him. Darn it! If he's even remotely in the air at all, you can't hit him with your sword. There we go! Goodbye, what's your face? I've always nicknamed that guy the Foul Flyer. Yeah, if you fall down here, it doesn't damage you. Instead, you fall in this room with all these enemies. Oh, wow! Shrouded Stalfoses. I did not think we'd be seeing them this early in the game. We didn't see these guys till level 7 in Oracle of Seasons. And those guys, we can't kill them right now, so that's fun. But yeah, if that happens, you'd have to climb up the staircase and go back into that mini-boss room. Or you can go down here, but there's nothing we can do down there right now. And the floor has magically healed itself! I love that! Magic! Yep! They throw javelins or shoot arrows at you or something. It's annoying. Ah! Darn it! You can die for that one. It's ironic because you're already dead. Oh, P-Hats! Nope. Nope. I hate P-Hats. They deal a lot of damage, and you really can't damage them unless they're on the ground, and they tend to never be on the ground. So for this room, just avoid their arrows. Like, you can hit them with your sword, but it's risky. Well, that, ha that was lucky. Also, you can hit their arrows out of the way if with your sword, so that's nice. Also, those are cracked fours. If you stand on them for too long... Oh, I don't have Mr. Seeds. Shoot. Yeah, if you stand on these too long... Well, I don't want to demonstrate it, but basically they'll crack and you'll fall down the pit. Okay. Out of my way, Thwomp. And we get Rock's Feather! You feel light as a feather! We could jump now, which is very rare in a Zelda game for you to be able to jump on command. Except Zelda 2. Darn it. And if we go up here, we get 30 rupees. That is nice. So now here's kind of the puzzle of the game. You see that red block and you see that yellow tile? Well, if we jump over that tile, we can change its color. Change it to red. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. That's why you don't stand on them for too long. Also, if you watch my Oracle of Seasons Let's Play, you'll know we didn't get rocks feathered till the third dungeon. They're a bit more generous in Oracle of Ages. Maybe because Rock's Feather is used for a lot of puzzles. So we're gonna hit the switch. That'll let us stop here. And there's a wall we can blow up.
Daikis. Oh boy, sword enemies are easy! And we get a small key for our efforts. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so here's the thing. The dice block... In order to make... Uh, Any time you encounter a dice block section with this, the railroad marker, you've got to put it blue side up. So we're going to have to turn it a couple times. But there we go. Easy peasy. We'll hit that just in case we need to use it again. And it takes us right back here. Now see that pattern over there? Well... Bam. Pretty simple puzzles, but they pick up quickly. Oh, now what we're gonna do? We can open the key block. Takes us to a minecart section. However, first, what we want to do is go down here. Now that we've got Rock's Fever, we can jump across these pits. And hey, hey, look at that! It's another railroad marker that's blocking us. Well, Blue helped us get through last time, and it'll help us get through this time. Oh, That's no fun. Also, jumping up and down staircases is much faster. Darn it! That was my heart! Doom, 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 doom. Ooh, free stuff. Ow. Alright. Ooh, thanks for the bomb. And we get a gash of seed. Not necessary, but it's nice to have. So here's actually kind of an interesting puzzle. And I don't mean killing the P-Hats. That's optional. But I really want to do it. Oh, you stink! I hate P-Hats. So what we're going to do is get out our power bracelet. Get most of the pots out of the way, but this one we actually need to push on the button. So we'll push it there. Die, P-Hat. Oh, this is perfect! Yay! Yep. That's actually kind of an interesting puzzle. I like it, though. Oh, boy. Man, I forgot how many puzzles Oracle of Ages has. Yeah, so basically, we got statues over here. We need to match them just like the statues over there. Also, we can only push the statues that are associated with the color tile over there. So let's start by with the red. Red are all in place. Yellow is easy. Just push it in the center. Now for the blue. It's a little tedious, sure, but I think it gets I think it's a cool puzzle, so I'll let it slide. The music on the other hand, not letting that slide. It's so boring and repetitive. And we get another small key. Oh yep. So then the room like this, change the color, you see all those enemies? Well, we can only damage them when they show themselves. They become invincible when they're the same color as the floor for some reason.
Goodbye. And we get the boss key! Cool, we will finish Wien Dungeon this episode. Boss is interesting. Kinda hard. Oh boy, yeah, these are anti-fairies. You want to avoid them at all costs. There's an optional item you can get that can allow you to insta-kill them and turn them into fairies. But, you don't have to get it. Alright. So let's get, uh, stocked up. So, full HP, they give us bombs. Mystery seeds? Nope. Basically, that guy will say, like, oh, red is the color of danger or something like that. So for this battle, we actually do not want our sword. Instead, I'm going to equip Rock's Feather and Bombs. The sword will do nothing in this fight. Welcome to the second boss, Head Fwomp. And he's actually not really much harder in a cursed playthrough. He deals more damage, but that's it. So he has four different faces. What we want to do is throw a bomb in him when his face is red. If he does that, he'll take damage. Otherwise, he's going to attack us. So yeah. Also, if it's red, not only will he take damage, he'll also drop us a heart. He also gets faster every time you damage him. If you throw the bomb in when his face is on red, it will always be red. Basically, whatever face he is when you throw the bomb in, that's the face that will end up stopping on. Oh boy. That can happen sometimes. So the hill, he's going to stop on green now, which I believe is his fireball attack. Yep. Not a big deal, but it can be annoying. I'll also throw fireballs just randomly after a certain amount of time has passed. Cool, red again. Oh, almost got him twice. There we go. Head Flomp's gonna die. Do not go right underneath him when he's about to die either, because that will damage you. No, no, no! That was close! I almost accidentally got a heart container there. So what we want to do is go down here. Now we're on the other side of the room. And we can re-equip our sword. And that is the Wind Dungeon. You got the ancient wood, an essence of time. It whispers only truth to closed ears from out of the stillness. Da 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 da, we got an essence of time. It's an oak tree, it's an oak tree, it's a Christmas tree. Basically, it basically is, let's be honest. It's even got snow on it. Also, because we're in the past, the Deco tree will now not spread leaves, but will spread dandelions. Artie, I sense an essence of time on the South Sea's Crescent Island. Find a way there from the town's coast. And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I will hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.